So guys, it's been a while since I've done an update on the pond, um, just for various reasons. I've been a bit busy, um, and with Boris not really deciding what's going to happen with the bar industry that I currently work in. Um, nothing, as I say, nothing's really changed. Um, I've got a few new fish. I say a few, quite a few. Um, now I know some of you are a bit worried about you know getting new fish. I was going through a few issues. The issues seem to have subsided. Um, the only compromise was that I had to take the goldfish as well. Um, now the goldfish will be uh, finding new homes, um, but for the koi that I got, uh, I was rather pleased uh, and I didn't mind taking a few goldfish. Um, now, I don't think you can really see in the pond. Um, I'll probably insert a clip after this. But I've got, there's a few, um, few uh, beckos. Um, one kind of very beat up Asagi, uh, but an Asagi nonetheless. Um, there's, I think it's a, maybe a Matsuba. Uh, I'm still learning my koi. Um, but I know for definite there's maybe two or three fairly large Sankeys, probably about that sort of size. Um, now, as I say, I did have to take the goldfish, um, which makes the pond look very full at the minute. Uh, but I've got uh, a friend of mine setting up a new pond. Uh, that's hopefully during, near the completion so I said if you want some goldfish to help start the cycle uh, and you're going to take a few of them um, now I've got a Jinrin um, Beko um, I can't remember which uh, is the red, and, the red and black and the white and black but I've got a few of the white and black ones um, as I say I will be putting in a clip um, maybe some underwater stuff with a GoPro um, and also try and do a bit of video over here now um, I'll, take the camera off here let's just get that off there so as you can see it does look quite full at the minute um, as I say all the goldfish will be finding new homes so that will clear quite a bit of space out there um, but as you can see you know a couple of nice sankeys down here these are the beckos that I was talking about try and keep in the leaves uh, some sort of ogan I believe and then down here I'll try and get him when he's see if you can see that Okay, this rather nice looking orange and black guy. Now as I say, my koi uh, variety skills isn't the best at the minute. Chagoy is doing great, putting on quite a bit of body. Um, and the broadening of the shoulders is now really quite apparent. Uh, Martin, you'll see one of your fish down there. Um, trying to look for the other one. I think him up down the other end. But at least you've got, you can see your guy there, uh, the Atsuri. And then I believe the Kihaku um, is just down here. Um, you can't see very well, as I say, because I haven't got the polarizer on today. Um, but the main uh, update of the video is I've bought myself a little grow on vat, uh, or quarantine vat, whatever you want to call it. Um, I now have electricity, yes. So I'll go over and show you the electricity now. So, yep, it's still just a pile of tubing and everything this will all eventually be trained changed to hard PVC pipe but for now it works now we've got the electrics going um, better turn that on what one's that oh that's the UV um, that's probably why it's looking a bit green in there because I haven't had the UV on I only I cleaned the filter out yesterday um, but this is a simple switch box so I've got my UV my aerator and the pump the pump will be dry mounted currently it's just sitting in there um, I did a clean out of this yesterday, so it's not looking as grim and disgusting as usual. Um, but yeah, it's nice to get the electricity in. No more extension leads and wires coming out of my bedroom window, which is good. Um, as I say, nothing's mainly changed. I'm going to leave the gravel for next year now. Um, as you can see, it's just covered everywhere in leaves, rotting, everything. Up, quick update on Turtle Pond. Turtle Pond's doing all right. Um, I had a few of them out yesterday. Um, just do a quick head count. Everyone seems to be doing great. Uh, the rockery's growing up quite nicely. <laughs> now this is kind of unintentional. I just left it. Um, weeds and whatever can grow in here. Um, any idea would be this is to be more natural as possible. And I will hopefully be having a waterfall coming down here. Very simple. I've got an old pressurized um, Oasi filter that I'll be using for that. Um, so yeah, um, now we will go and head into what is now going to be the Koi Grow On House. Okay, so just for 
filming purposes, I've opened these double doors here to let a bit more light in. It probably will get a bit more grainy, uh, as you can probably tell by the video quality. But I bought myself a little vat. So if I sit down in this chair, then the light should be a bit better. Um, so it's a little vat. Um, I can fit maybe three or four fish inside the vat, and it's just running off a little box filter down there. Um, I'll turn the pump on. So it's only a very, very small pump. But it works all right. Uh, down in the corner down here, there's a little uh, gate, gate valve, goes into the pump, pushes it out there. It's also UV, but because it's inside, I didn't really think, you know, I need to turn it on. Um, there will eventually be some lights in there, probably just uh, Push, push fit lights that you can get from the Poundland, something like that. So I've left that uh, in there. Hopefully it will be a little bit warmer in there in terms of growing a few things on. And putting a bit more weight on some of the fish. Um, now I've said that I will use it as a grow on, but I'll also use it as a hospital tank or quarantine if needs be. Um, as I say, you can look quite full in there at the minute. Um, this is one of my favourites. If anyone can tell me the variety, I will probably Google it at some point. Then let me know because I really love this fish. Um, but I'll be pulling a few of these out um, to go into the grow on at some point, uh, maybe tomorrow. So I'll do a bit of video on that. Also, it's you know quality of video might not be that great because uh, what's time now? Quarter past six in the evening. Um, I've been out all day, but I thought I'd do a quick little video. Um, so what I'll do is tomorrow, possibly, uh, if I get time before work, is pull a few of these goldfish out, stick them in the grow one, um, just to start cycling that filter. Because um, then hopefully, give it a few more weeks time, because uh, it's only a small vat. Uh, it's nothing humongous. Um, none of some, I know some of you guys have got proper big grow on tanks out there. Um, and then I can put some of the koi in there that I want to grow on. There's a few that are really beautiful looking koi. Um, and I'll stick them in the blue bowl so we can all see. Um, but yeah, a little quick update for you guys tonight. Uh, and then tomorrow I'll try and fish some of them out. Uh, I'll try and catch some of the ones, put, stick them in the blue bowl, say just for you guys to have a look at. Uh, the ones I'm thinking about growing on. Um, and then. We'll put a few goldfish into the grow on just to get that cycled through. Um, so yeah, hopefully everyone's doing all right with coronavirus. Um, we've just gone to stage two, I believe here in London. So not much traveling. Um, it was good to see Martin uh, when, when we did, uh, and a good job we did as well. Um, as I say, Martin, your fish are doing great in here. Um, and I look forward to hopefully growing them on during the winter months. So uh, catch me. A little bit later on and hopefully it'll be the next day and we'll be catching some fish. As I mentioned yesterday, uh, in a little clip in the evening, uh, I've got a grown tank now in the shed, um, and these will probably be the koi um, that I'm going to try to grow on. Um, now, now I've got two kajaku, one of them will be yours, Martin, and also your uh, Atsuri as well, Martin. Um, and then I think it's called a, I think it begins with Kuma, Kumun, Kumun something. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember the name exactly, um, but this is the bowl. Um, so a nice selection of fish, really deep body on this fish actually, um, so I'm interested to see how much growth we can put on her. Um, this one I just love the different patterning, um, it's almost like a light blue colour, and then Kajaku. This one's from exclusively Koi, um, they're based uh, in Kent, and then I've got Martin's one just over there. Now, as you've seen from a bit of video, the pond is a little bit more full with a few more fish. As I say, all the goldfish will be gone. Um, I've got someone hopefully come and pick them up. Um, all the other fish seem to be doing great. 
managed to um, get myself a few bigger koi. I think you can see them just all down in there, down at the end. Uh, I've just been fishing around in there with the uh, to get the others out. So as you see, it looks like I've got a uh, Karashi Goi, um, the Beko, the Yasagi. Not sure on this one, love it. Um, not sure on that one. Some sort of lemon ogre, maybe. Some more Sankeys. Obviously, Big Mo. Uh, another Beko. A little Sankey there. Um, Big Red still doing fine as usual. He's up in the corner. Um, and so, yeah, as I say, all of the uh, goldfish will be gone because um, they're causing a bit of a mess in the pond. I thought I'd have to actually put the net in uh, and do a, kind of the, the purse net technique that I used to catch all the fish out. But no, they seem to be doing all good. So these are the ones that will be going into the grow on pond uh, tank. What I'll do is I'll just take you over there now. Um, I've got with me a light. I know, interesting. <laughs> um, so we'll go take you over there and you have a proper look. So it's in this... Uh, Shed somehow, so I've cleared out. Let me get this light working. Okay, so hopefully, not that little light on there. Uh, you can see a lot better from last night. So it's just running off. There's a down here. There's a little gate valve, um, and then there's a pump, a very small one, but it's working all right to be fair. So they'll be going in here. Um, I'm thinking about topping this out for uh, the small pressurised fuel that I've got. Hopefully you can hear me over all the water. Um, but yeah, picked up a little ground tank. Seems to be doing alright. So we'll come out of here because it's bloody noisy. <sighs> so yeah, that's that's the little grow on tank that I'll be putting those koi in. Um, nothing's really changed <laughs> again apart from the grow on project. Um, you know. Koi are doing alright. Um, I really love this orange one. So if anyone knows the name, the variety, then please let me know. Um, we've got a few bits and bobs, you know, on the bottom of the pond. It's not as super clean as it usually is. But the actual clarity seems to be alright, to be fair. Um, some nice Sankeys. I might sell some of the Sankeys. Um, I'm just not a big fan of them. Um, as you can see there, nice enough looking fish. Um, as with me, I feel like I've got now I've got a pond full of bruisers. Um, but yeah, as I say, it looks quite busy at the minute because I've got quite a few of these bloody goldfish. Um, but that was the deal. So um, I got these off a really nice gentleman. Unfortunately, his wife passed away this year and he just doesn't spend enough time in, uh, in the garden. So I went around there, it was a pea green soup. Um, I had no idea what I was going to find in there. Um, but the condition was I did take the goldfish as well, which I thought was fair enough. Um, so yeah, I, f I finally got myself uh, an Asagi, that guy down there. Not quite um, as beautiful as I think some of them are, um, but beautiful enough, beautiful enough for me. Um, it's nice now, that'll be it, no more stock in. Uh, once the goldfish go, then I'll just have the koi. But yeah, some of these Senkis, uh, these Bekos, um, might be going up for sale. Um, if anyone's interested, just drop a comment down below in the comment section. Um, but yeah, it's good we've got the electricity going. Um, if I just turn the air on, here it comes. So yeah, everyone's doing all right. They're doing their swirling behavior. I think Martin, your koi also do this as well. Um, got big red at the front of the team. So yeah, um, what I'm going to do is uh, probably fish out a few uh, goldfish, stick them in the grow one, um, leave them in there for a bit, let it cycle out, um, and yeah. So that's it for this little catch up, as I say, um, some beautiful looking koi that will be going in the grow one, um, really pleased with them and it'll be great to see how they develop as well uh, especially this big at Surrey uh, Martin he she is definitely packing on the pounds um, so yeah that's 
it for this little update. As I say, sorry it's short. Um, just a few spanners been thrown into the work, so to speak. Um, so I've been offline for a little bit, uh, but it's great to see everyone's, you know, still going, covering their ponds. Do I cover? Do I not? That's the question. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll have a see. A friend of mine down the road has never covered his pond, um, and obviously we live in the same street, so I don't think it'll make too much of a difference. Um, but I thought the grow would be quite a little bit of a fun project, especially with uh, Andrew's grow and show uh, for next year. Um, give me some ideas, pointers, and tips. <laughs> Ask grow a big fish. Um, but yeah, no, look forward to you on the next one, and uh, stay safe, guys, in this uh, crazy climate that we're in.